There was a time in my life that I lived in this house all by myself, at least half of the days. Mon was working overseas and he came home every other month. I just moved to Kolanta and I hardly knew anyone. It was a lonely time, but what made it all a bit better is waking up to this. Do you remember the last episode of our love story? I just realized that Mon was a diamond in my hand, but we were still living apart in two different countries. But all of that is about to change. So the story about this beautiful Buddha house, going back to 2011, at that time I was still working in the oil and gas company for five weeks on the boat and five weeks holiday. That's my job. When I visit my good friend in Old Town called Lanta, I just see the beautiful view behind his house. I just feel like I want to have this beautiful view for myself as well. Three months later, I got this plot. So at that time, I live in Myanmar and uh, I'm a teacher there and you come to visit me every few weeks when you're off the boat. And actually we just met. I think it's around the time that you asked me to marry you even, right? Uh, and then one day you come to, to, to visit me and I pick you up from the airport and we're sitting in the taxi and then you, you show and you say, look, I want to show you something. And then you show me pictures of the view from behind the house. I say, oh, beautiful. And you're like, yeah, that's the house I bought. I say, excuse me? Yeah, I just bought a house <laughs> for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> look out. He bought a fishing hook and the line so we can fishing behind our house later on. That's what we love to do when we come here in the old town. Fishing in the water just behind your own house. The reason why I want to have this plot is just first is for building my little beautiful house for the family and me to live life here on this island. And I want to be a fisherman. And? Nothing? It's a new hobby. one of my dream to go out fishing, come back and live simple life. The bit so big though. Come on now. Okay. Do we catch the dinosaur? No. Oh, okay, okay, hold it one. You catch a whale shark? No. So which one then? We're gonna catch a barracuda. Yeah, the scorpion fish. Yeah, scorpion. Scorpion fish live close. <laughs> Show me scorpion fish. I just want to go out fishing, come back and cook the fish that I catch. Now let's go get the fried chicken. Breakfast. Did you come in? Yes. Yeah. 
You stay at home alone. Man, are you coming? This is Sweet Life, our guest house that we actually never told you about. Definitely tell you about it one day. <laughs> so when you go to Old Town, you like to get some deep fried breakfast? Yes, correct. Healthy for me. Let me tell you something about Thai breakfast here in the south of Thailand. It's deep fried, savory or sweet, cheap, filling and delicious. Healthy? I'm not sure about that. We're gonna eat with the sweet condensed milk. If I would eat Thai breakfast every day, I would be three times the size. <laughs> but it's so good. But let's get something healthy too. Ever tried rambutan or ngo in Thai? Please repeat after me. Ngo but be careful and don't say no, as that word is rather impolite. I went to visit Mayan in Burma and then I show her the picture of the view of this plot. A stunning view. I tell her it's like this is our view from our house. And she looked at me like, what? <laughs> I said, you bought a house for me? <laughs> Without asking me? You bought the house? Without telling me? I say, yes, why not? Uh, I'm not sure I like that idea. Because I plan to build a house for our future here, to raise a family here. And by the way, it's my money. I can decide what I want to do. I'm from Holland, so buying a house is like a really big thing. <laughs> it's something that costs a lot of money, that you take a long time to do. Uh, so just like you saying, I bought a house for you, uh, yeah, just didn't really feel like it just felt really weird to me she said like what if i don't like it i said like, you don't like it we don't need to leave we just build and then we just think about investment oh you're so enthusiastic diva well, if we go live in holland you can never get fried chicken for breakfast why because Dutch people don't eat fried chicken for breakfast. They only eat like bread and muesli, yogurt, omelette. Mm. Oh. Me too, me too, me too. So good. So I'm eating kanom chin here. Rice noodle, freshly made. Eat with the curry. Here we go. And how to eat with this guy? We add a lot of vegetable. Any vegetable you have in this world? I have the what is this one? Banana flower. Crunchy long bean. Or in Thai we say tuo fak yao. Sweet basil. Wing bean here, tauge, bean sprout, tuongo, we call it in Thai. Or soya is frozen in German. Chicken, drumstick. Did you eat it? No. Mm. You gave it to me. What? Mm. So you gave it to the other kids? So what about this was like a real fisherman shack, like all bamboo. There was like holes everywhere. I even remember uh, we put some mattress on the floor and uh, when we were like uh, in the house, some neighborhood kids came and looked through the little holes <laughs> to spy on us and see what we were doing. And the sun is shining. And the house is so beautiful. Good morning, sunshine. Yeah, so I was living in Myanmar and then we came here every time for holiday and yeah, it didn't really feel like a house to me. It was more like a place for like, like camping. We were cooking on the floor, doing dishes on the floor. Everything was like, yeah, very basic, like fisherman style. And I really loved it uh, for like, 
kind of like a camping holiday, you know? I, I never thought of it as a real house until the moment you started building this house, which you also did completely without consulting me. <laughs> but at that time, I think uh, I was uh, doubting our relationship, so uh, you were just doing your own thing. It's Saturday, 10 o'clock in the morning, and uh, our video is airing soon, so I didn't write the description yet. I need to check the translation, everything, so I have some work to do. The time is ticking, only 45 minutes left. Hmm, can I do it in time? I'm not sure. And I remember coming here, it was like Christmas 2013 and you were on the boat. You were not able to come for holiday and I was here on holiday and my dad was here and you just started building this house and I was on the second floor and I was looking at the view, the view that I already knew, but all of a sudden it started to look like a real house and I was like, oh, why don't I just come and live life here with you? Yeah. So this house really inspired me to come and live life here with you. And now it just started storming just in one go. Look, look, look! Whoa! The island almost disappeared behind me, you see that? Whoa! That's what I love about Thailand. What? A gold digger. Yeah, I'm a gold digger. Are you filming me now? Yes, I do. Yeah, gold digger. I saw the house and then I was like, sold. Let's do it. And just 10 minutes later. I just want to have the wooden house and looking at the sea. It needs to be big enough for the family in the future. Big space, big kitchen, and need to be airflow. It was your first time building a house, right? It's my first time building this budget, biggest budget in my life. How do you know what to do? How do I know what to do? A good question. Basically, I just like I love to looking at um, house plan in the internet, uh, design, everything built from my head, like what I like, what I want. So basically, I just tell my local builder, just like this, is what I want. I draw in the A4. I went back to work for five weeks on the offshore on the boat, and then when I came back. So everything is like, whoa, it's not what I want. Is it too big of this toilet? Too small this corner. The, the window is too high. Window too low. The door too small. It's just like, we have to chop, 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 chop. Took me two years of this project to finish. But the result come out, it's just like, as you see, and it's what it looks like right now. It's stunning. You don't need much in life here. You don't need sea, sun, and money. <laughs> sea, sun and money. 
and the one you love. That's it. I'm filming you. <laughs> well, I will not post it. <laughs> Indy, how are you, really? Your pajama girl still. I'm like that normally. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, Millie didn't wear it for sleeping. Millie wore it in the morning. Okay. And Millie would not take it off. Okay, well, she's quite right. So, you lived here for one year. Basically, I lived here for one year, and you were still working overseas. And, yeah, it was quite a lonely, lonely life here in, in Old Town by myself. But every morning when I woke up and saw a sunrise, yeah, those, those were the moments that were worth it. And then when you came every five weeks, like, we had a really good time together. And... Uh, and then you heard that you're going to lose your job. So, yeah, we decided to put this house on Airbnb. And I think that was a really good decision. My friend said, like, are you crazy? Are you going to put this beautiful house on Airbnb? Don't you want to just live here? But actually, this house is now a business that allows us to, yeah, to be free, you know? And it's amazing. And, yeah, I think I love this house even more when I don't live here. Because every time I open the door, when I come here, I feel like, oh, my God. This is amazing. I mean, to wake up to this view every day, it's, it's really beautiful, but it's kind of like too good to be true, you know? Yeah. Holiday. Holiday home. Eva, you want to get into every, every video we make? Whoop, 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 whoop. Lick, 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 lick. Oh, what does Manu have? <gasps> Show me, Manu. It's still alive. Where'd you get it? It's the crab. What about these pinches? But you're not A giant orange inside of the sun? <gasps> wow, it's so beautiful. 